Hey everyone, it's Gary here from Echidna Sewing and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing on a fantastic new model for Echidna Sewing here in Australia. It's the new brother NV50S and this is an exclusive model for Echidna. So uh, like some of the other machines we have, we do have exclusive uh, to ourselves here in Australia and we, we do that because they're models we love, they've got great features, they're great value and it allows us to do some some fantastic deals on them because we simply buy so many of them. So let's get into it. This is the Brother NV50S and you'll see I've got beside me the Brother NV180 and this is the sewing and embroidery version of this range. This is a sewing, essentially a sewing only version of this guy. So going to be really popular. Let's have a look at it now. Obviously this box has just arrived. I haven't opened it yet. And uh, I'm just going to use this pair of scissors here, just rip open the, the little plastic, just slide that gently across there. A lot of people get big Stanley knives out and you can do that if you like, but I've seen people cut instruction books and do all sorts of things. So if you're using a Stanley knife, don't go too deep and too hard on it. The tip of a pair of scissors is usually enough to break that plastic. So let's now unbox this guy here. As always, it's going to be packed in foam or well packed indeed. So I'm going to go through what actually comes in the box on this machine. So when you get yours home, you'll know exactly what to expect. Obviously a power cable, so that's important. Got that guy there. I'm going to get all the stuff out of the top first. We might just bring that across under the camera a little bit. We've got our foot control, so we'll pop that over there. A little kit of some of the accessories that are included. I'm going to be going through all those. What else is down the side there? We've got the instruction book. So you do get a full instruction book on this guy, which is great. And right down the bottom, I can see a cover, but, but for now, I'm going to actually take this out of the box. Now, the best way to do this is I usually just lay the box over and you can, if you're careful, just simply slide that up because it is all packed in foam and you can remove it like that. We're going to get rid of that guy now. We don't need that. And then just gently lay that back over. And there's usually a bit of tape around. You'll often find it around the foam packaging. There was there, that's already come apart, so that's all right. Take that guy off. The machine will always be, be uh, wrapped in plastic. And a brand new machine will always have bits of blue tape on it and everything. So best thing to do now is just tip that up and then just gently slide it forward like that and take it out. Now, it's not hard to take machines out of boxes, but I have seen people go a bit crazy, pull at a gate kind of thing, and uh, you don't want to be dropping machines or anything like that. So if you just do it the way I did it, you'll have no troubles. Just take the plastic off there, and there we have it. I love opening new machines or new things like this. I always love the, the surprise that's inside. It's a very, very good looking machine, wouldn't you think? So um, let's have a look at what you've got to do now. You'll see this blue plastic, as I mentioned before, a new machine straight out of the box will always have that on it. If you get a, well certainly from Brother anyway, if you get a brand new machine and it hasn't got any of that blue plastic on it, then it means the machine has been opened. Not necessarily a bad thing, it could have been just to check things or do an update before the machine got shipped. Um, but generally speaking, a new machine will have this blue plastic. So just gently go around and peel those bits of plastic off. We don't need them again, they're just a, a sticky tape. And you'll also notice you've got this little piece of foam here. That needs to be lifted, your foot needs to be lifted and that can slide out and that protects your foot and your feeders and your threading mechanisms. So um, we always encourage you to keep the box and the foam packaging just in case you know you don't have a local service person or, or you need to send the machine back for service uh, or, or warranty, which doesn't often happen with brother, but servicing is important. Um, pop that in with the rest of your foam when you put that back in the box and keep that for, for future use if you can. All right. You'll notice that we've also got the little uh, free arm attachment there or the, the, the table. And that is also a little storage case for more accessories. So I'm going to take them out of there, take that off there. I do want to get rid of all this black, uh, blue plastic. So we're just going to take that up, get rid of that. I'm just going to pop that over there. Same deal on this one here. And we don't need that. And if I turn the machine around, you'll see there's also another one on the back just here. Now these machines are surprising. They're, they're, they're not heavy, but they're not light. They're, um, they're kind of got a really good stable weight to them because they're a metal frame machine, which is really important. So uh, really sturdy and robust machines. Now there's also one more bit of plastic just there. Let's just grab that off. Now, of course, you'll be standing in front of your machine, not behind it like I am. 
make it a wee bit easier. So there's the machine. Uh, the plastic is now taken off. I can pop that little guy back on there. And you can see it's a very, very, in fact, it's exactly the same size as the NV. 180. So this is a sewing only version, that's a sewing and embroidery version. Of course that one comes with the embroidery unit as well. Now, um, looking at the machine in a, in a basic sort of configuration, I'm, and this is a video just doing an unboxing to show you what comes with it. We're going to have lots more videos, really in-depth videos and all the things that this machine can do. So make sure you watch those. But I'll just run through a few of the basic things. Your stitch selection is via this little dial here. In fact, what I might do is I'm going to turn that one off and I'm going to plug this in. And you'll see that, um, turn that on, there we go. So, stitch selection is via this simple little dial here. And the good thing about this model is there's 50 stitches built into it. And that's a great range of stitches. It gives you five buttonholes, loads of construction and decorative and quilting stitches. And uh, pretty much everything that any anyone would want. It, even for advanced users, often they don't use any more stitches than that. So the great thing about it is no confusion. You don't have this massive big range of stitches and you think, oh my goodness, which one do I use? So 50 stitches is perfect. Uh, a, a backlit LCD screen. Now that's really important. A lot of machines in that sort of lower price range don't have the backlit LCD. So in a dark room, it can be really difficult to actually see the numbers or, a, you know, a bad lighting, it can be difficult to see what's actually on screen. A lot of good information on screen as well. So when you turn that dial, uh, for instance, if we were going to stitch number six, again, I'm working backwards here. So let me go to stitch number six. It sets everything for you. Again, we're going to go in depth with all that in future videos. So um, just wanted to run through the basics here. This also has the built-in advanced automatic needle threader. Now this is great because this is the same needle threader in principle that they've got on, you know, even the, the ten and twenty thousand dollar machines, instead of it being a push button electric one, you just have a little lever that you just push down right there and that threads the needle for you really, really, really automatic and you don't have to sort of sit there and try and fiddle and get the thread into little hooks or needle eyes or anything like that. Uh, your tension is there. It's a drop-in bobbin, so that means it's easy to change bobbins. And it's also one of the brother quick set bobbin systems, which means it's virtually um, jam proof. If you thread it correctly, it's not going to jam on you. And it's almost impossible to thread it not correctly. So uh, really, really good features there. Um, look, that's about it as far as looking at the machine, but it's a beautiful looking machine. It's a full metal ca uh, casting on the, the, the chassis. And of course that gives it that lovely bit of weight that actually means it's not gonna be bouncing around the table. And I guess looking at these buttons on the front as well, you've got a speed slide regulation here. So you can slow the machine right down to an inching speed, go as fast as you like, but wherever that's set, no matter how hard you push the foot pedal, it won't go any faster than where you've set that dial. And of course, with the push button uh, option here, you can use this by just simply hitting the start stop button. You don't need to use a foot control if you don't want to. That's a pretty popular way for, for sewing these days. And um, just a, an added benefit on this model. It also has your needle up down options here. So you can have a needle up or down when it stops. And of course that makes it easy to stop and then purposely put the needle down for pivoting, etc and a fixed stitch. So that's a locking stitch that locks off any of your decorative stitches and basically reinforces the start or the end of any seam you might be doing. So that's it. That's all it takes to actually taking it out of the box and powering it up. Um, it's pretty much ready to sew now. You don't have to thread it and away you go. But that's not the purpose of this video. It was to show you what came with it. So let's have a good look at the, um, the, the extras that come with it. Obviously there's a dust cover. That's just a simple, simple cover to keep the dust and uh, and contaminants away from your machine. Obviously the instruction book and brother do write great instruction books. So I'm just gonna open that up just quickly because one of the great things that you get with most machines these days is essentially a quick start guide and that's what that is. That gets you going really quickly. Uh, this will be the um, accessories and all the different things that are in there. So lots of good information. The list of all the standard accessories, so you can do a checklist on it and see what other things are available. And of course the operation manual and that, that's, that's excellent, that's all there. Good thing about this is there's loads of video content even from Brother about this style of machine. So you've got um, countless opportunities to get online and watch videos and see how these guys work. But we're gonna have heaps and heaps on our website as well. Uh, going back, we said we had the foot control and the power lead, whoops, that was naughty. Um, and what do we got here? So, good range of accessories. These are just basically the essential things you need to have around your 
on your machine. So you've got a twin needle, a basic pack of needles. You've got a little eyelet punch there, a screwdriver, larger screwdriver. That one's great for taking your presser foot shank off if you should need to do that. This is a little screwdriver as well, and it's excellent for getting into the screws on the needle plate. So when you're doing any of your um, general maintenance that you do, and you do take the needle plate off from time to time, that's the best screwdriver to use for that. You've got a twin needle spool pin, and that sits up, oh, where does that sit up in there? So that goes right there. So if you're doing twin needle, you've got a spool that is gonna stand vertically, you can use that. You've got a little cleaning brush, a seam ripper, and two of the thread leaders, or the caps, in fact, there's already one on the machine. And these are the little caps that hold the spools on once you put your spool on the actual horizontal spool pin. And uh, that's important. Horizontal spool pin is the best way to have your thread on this machine. You would only use this on a very rare occasion. But there's three of those little caps. And a thread net, and sometimes you'll get some spools of thread where the thread just is unruly and slips off, and that thread net can be popped over the thread spool to keep everything in place. And as far as the standard accessories that come with the machine, as far as feet go, you've got your button sewing foot, a uh, button hole foot rather. And, and that's the automatic one, because this has five automatic one-step button holes. And uh, with these guys, you just simply put your button in the back of the foot. If we were to pretend that was a button, we'd pop that in there and the machine will measure that and it'll get the perfect button hole for you. It'll be exactly the right size. We've got the end foot, which is your essentially your applique or your decorative stitching foot. And these are all standard in the box. We've got a zipper foot. Let's move these across a bit. A zipper foot. We've got an overcasting foot. We've got a great button sewing foot. That's That button sewing foot is excellent because that actually allows you to get a bit of loft in the button as well. So we'll have a video on that. So you just keep an eye open for that. Overlocking foot some spare bobbins and pretty much everything you need to get going. And the standard J foot, which is your normal sewing foot, is already on the machine. So look, that's it. That's what comes in the box. Fantastic value. Check out the deals on our website and the extras that we're adding with this machine because it is such a, a great package that we put together. Oh, I should also point out too, it's a bit of a cool feature on a machine in this price range is it has a drop feed mechanism. So that allows you to drop the feeders. You can use this for free motion quilting, um, for darning, sewing buttons on as we said, and then to re-engage that for normal sewing, you just push it across. So it's really nice and simple. But um, yeah, fantastic machine, great value. The brother, it's an Innovus model, which is brother's premium range of machines. So the Innovus uh, Innovus, Innovus, we all pronounce it a bit differently, but um, it's a premium range. That means it has the five-year computer and electronics warranty and the three-year uh, mechanical warranty. Super reliable. They use standard sewing machine needles. You don't need to go searching for specific needles, but um, and every sewing shop will have those types of needles available for you. It's a standard A-style bobbin, so again, nothing out of the ordinary. You're not going to be stuck getting all the basic accessories for it. And all in all, fabulous machine, easy to operate, loads of video support. Of course, always the support from Echidna Sewing and our team. And uh, this is, who would buy this type of machine? Perfect machine if you're starting uh, starting your adventure in sewing, but it's e excellent also, if, even if you're an intermediate or even an advanced sewer, it has so many fantastic features and it's compact enough to be put away. It doesn't take up a lot, a lot of storage in your home if you've got a space issue. It'd be great in a caravan if you're traveling around Australia because it's small enough and you know, light enough to be able to handle easy enough, but certainly not too light that it jump, jumps around the table on you when you're using it. So um, really, it's just great value, great machine. It's a brother, it's gonna work, it's got a great warranty, and it's supported by Echidna, so you can't go wrong. Cheers.